What's up? Uh, your flash hider's not working. My flash hider? Yeah. My flash hider's not working. Yeah, it's not working. There's you're, flash everywhere. You're absolutely right, because that's a muzzle brake. <laughs> And we're gonna we're gonna discuss the difference between a flash hider and a muzzle brake, and which one works best for you. Let's go. Sorry, did you say something? <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Clint and Katie here today with Classic Firearms. How are you doing, Katie? I'm doing all right, how about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. You're not gonna give them a what's up, guys, or anything? Well, you interrupted like the flow of things, so. Oh, no. okay. Hey, welcome back everybody. <laughs> Clint's here today with Classic Firearms. We got Katie back with us. How's it going, guys? There it is. Uh, we're here today to discuss, actually, let's, let's do this really quick. Tell me the difference between a flash hider and a muzzle brake. One of them breaks, one of them suppresses flash. I don't really It's hard know. to argue that, okay. <laughs> Okay, can you identify which muzzle devices here are flash hiders versus which ones are compensators versus which ones are muzzle brakes? I know. I think that's. A, oof. I think that's a brake, right? Am I wrong? Oh, absolutely. I'm wrong. You're very wrong. Yeah. That's okay, but that's the point of this video because while we were having this exact same conversation, hey, can you pass me that muzzle brake over there, that surefire? I want to throw it on this other gun. Well, I know that that's a surefire, isn't it? That is a surefire. So is that one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this really <laughs> quick. And we're actually going to put into practice a little bit how these things work, okay? I know that's a bird cage, but I can't that's tell you cage, what yeah. it... I yeah. can't tell you if it's a one versus the other. I got you. That's, that's the point of this video. The A2 flash hider that you see on the 14.5 M4 Military Collection FN that you see right here is considered a flash hider. You've got these ports right up front that, well, they direct the gases kind of up and in front of the shooter in a sense. But what that does is that breaks up those gases so you don't just have a massive fireball coming out the front. You've, you've shot uh, like the Q Cherry Bomb, yeah. uh, you've shot uh, other muzzle devices or even guns without a muzzle device. You saw that with the 300 Win Mag that one time. Yeah. Uh, and it just produces heavy recoil and also a fireball effect, right? Right. Cool, so a flash hider helps hide the flash, yeah. right? Uh, there's different types out there. We've got obviously the A2 birdcage that you see on the M4. We've got a three prong guy here, kind of like uh, that old school vibes, you know, that we've got right here, the little daisy picker thing, uh, with the M16. And on this guy, the SCAR 16, we've got uh, some fun stuff set up on it. But this is the Surefire three prong war comp. This is a compensator slash flash hider. All right, now what this does, the reason it's a compensator is because it does have this porting right up front, mm -hmm. right? And what that does is direct the gases up and you can actually time this to different directions. So mm -hmm. if you're primarily a right-handed shooter, you're only gonna shoot this gun right-handed, you could have this sitting off more this direction from you and me, it'd be closer to like maybe a one o'clock, two o'clock mm -hmm. position versus a 12 o'clock. What that does is it directs those gases in, what, in that direction and therefore it'll push the muzzle opposite of that, right? Makes so. Sense. Right. All right, cool. And then the three prong effect, so for those next gases or those escaping gases coming out the front of the gun that aren't exactly coming out the ports, well, that'll break those up to keep from flashing. Now, its effect on reducing muzzle flash isn't as great as like a dedicated flash hider. So Surefire also makes uh, the SFS3, the standard SOCOM three prong. Yeah. So it's this minus the ports, right? And it does a great job at mitigating flash. Awesome. And then the last one here on my Mark 12 is the Surefire muzzle brake. And so we'll see on this guy here, there will be definitely more flash produced. Mm -hmm. You've got these two large chambers for those escaping gases to exit through. And what that does is helps keep that muzzle nice and flat, right? And you'll experience all of this today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna, we're, we've got plenty of mags loaded up. We're gonna try to get these guys hot, see if we can, you know, just uh, see what kind of differences we get if you send multiple rounds down range quickly versus slow versus, it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go shoot some. Let's go head down range. So before we roll into this, Katie actually asked a good question just a moment ago. What was your question? So why do you have a war comp on this guy yeah. versus a muzzle brake on this guy? Okay, so question is, war comp versus muzzle brake, why do I have them set up differently? And quite simply, this is my more precision long range shooter that I know I want accurate follow-up shots on. I know this guy right here is gonna be super low recoiling and I want to make sure that I can pretty much stay on my target as soon as I pull that trigger and I can just, it'll be like this almost, right? Mm -hmm. Barely anything. 
uh, compared to uh, like the war comp that guy right there is just going to be quick sending rounds down range maybe doing some other close-up type of work stuff along those lines i'm not going for absolute precision and really accurate follow-up shots mm -hmm. so i'm pretty cool with having that one there just more mow better for me in the situation that i'd be using that in which is more of that uh i don't want to say assaulter <laughs> but that's the whole point of the gun right so that's exactly it so fast shots accurately downrange when that's accuracy versus precision in my mind on that sense right now with that being said you ready to shoot some sure cool uh let's put these down here <laughs> you take that there you go i'll take that go ahead and chamber one up start shooting and let's see if we can see any type of flash to that Flash lighter. Okay. Do you want me to throw it to the berm, or we actually want me to try and attempt to hit the target? I uh, just throw it to the berm quick. Okay. A it's couple? Fine. Yeah, yeah. Just do, yeah, just do three or four. Okay. <laughs> I ran the rode the trigger just a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you didn't let it fully reset, <laughs> yeah. which honestly that's fine. You're, you're learning the trigger, so not not a bad job, mm. right? Okay, cool. Now, how does the recoil feel to you? Go ahead and shoot a couple more rounds and just, just get into it. Like, okay. just, you know what? Do five shots fast as you can. Oh. Just go for it. Okay. Thoughts? I didn't see anything. No, I can't see anything <laughs> either. All right, cool. Now, as far as recoil goes, how'd that feel to you? I didn't really feel much recoil. It's a 5.56 five, gun. You're, you're <laughs> yeah, not. I'll see. Okay. Um, yeah. It five, felt, five, six, so. Okay, cool. So what you guys will notice too is, and you might be able to see those escaping gases coming out the top of the muzzle here, okay, or from the flash hider. Of course, you'll still have some stuff going forward, obviously. Now let's go ahead and try with the SCAR-16 with the war comp. It's gonna change things up a little bit. I am anticipating that we'll see a little bit of muzzle flash right through here, but it won't be great. And we'll still see, or we, we shouldn't see anything after the muzzle. So okay. this guy is not loaded. So go ahead and chamber one up, try that out. How many want here? Five? Yeah, go for another five. Quick. Notice anything? I mean, I didn't see anything, but you have a lot here, so it's kind of hard for me to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, what do you know? I put a bunch of stuff on my gun again. Uh, so, okay, same thing. I didn't really see much happening there with it either. I'm good. I'm just throwing that round in there, because now it's my turn. We're not going to come to the range and I'm not going to shoot, right? So let's just do this really quick here. I did the same thing. I got obviously really uh, spoiled on my Geisley trigger. <laughs> Mill spec triggers. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, so as far as like the shooter's perspective, mm -hmm. I can maintain, I can see my red dot the entire time. I can see what my red dot's focusing on, which is a big pile of dirt. So it's easy enough to do that, yeah. right? Trade with you one more time. This is, this is just for me here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> No, that, I'm actually noticing less, I want to say gases coming up. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of the other guys that we have over there. Let's try uh, minus the war comp. Let's just go for the M16, 20 inch barrel on that. So we shouldn't see much of anything at all coming out of that guy. Let's grab it. All right, Katie, you got our M16 boy here, a little Vietnam action going on. Now, again, we talked about the three prong on this one. This is a little bit shorter guy. Now, the standard three prong that we typically see, kind of like what you saw on the SCAR without the actual port, so minus the war comp part, the compensating part, mm -hmm. those are some of the best flattest shiders out there. Their design and everything just works really, really well. So go ahead. Uh, that one's already loaded up and everything. I saw you chamber that one up. Go ahead and oh, shoot I that didn't. a couple of times. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead and shoot it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Keep shooting it. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw you kind of smile and I was like, yes, you like you like that one. Now, this guy's definitely lightweight, yeah. uh, especially compared to all the other ones that don't have a bunch of stuff on them. Yeah. Uh, so how does that one feel to you? Great. Yeah. I mean, just- It's light. Yes, yeah, which I know you like quite a bit. Uh, but anyway, so it also has a smaller uh, smaller barrel and as well. And yeah. it was light and it didn't have recoil, so no. that's great. No, it's a fantastic gun. So again, one of those Colt clones, it's super cool. Yeah. But anyway, let's try the muzzle brake now. The brake, uh, just let me know what you think about recoil, all that type of fun stuff. There's not one in the chamber. Go for it. Trigger's gonna be uh, pretty nice on that one. More than five? 
What's that? Is we good at five? I mean, if you want to keep shooting it, you can keep shooting it. Okay, I see you. you get, <laughs> all right. So you guys probably noticed, because I could definitely notice, you are definitely getting a flash. Yeah. Especially out of that first chamber there, you're noticing just that expansion of gas. It's hitting that cool air. It's having that reaction. Yeah. And you're going to see that flash come out the side, right? Now, recoil terms, no, I didn't recoil. see any muzzle rise, right? No. Yeah, that's why I love a muzzle brake. When does a muzzle brake suck? Whenever you're at an indoor range and the guy next to you is shooting a muzzle brake seven and a half inch AR. That's when it really sucks. So another application that a muzzle brake can come into play or a flash hider, if you're working in a team and you've got maybe Mark 18s you're running or something short, uh, maybe a muzzle brake wouldn't be the best idea. What would be really good is, I don't know, the ultimate flash hider. It's the, called a silencer. That is where we have the most fun. So we're gonna throw that on there. And what's kind of funny though, is out of the uh, many people that have shot this gun now, mm -hmm. how many say that it's actually not as steady with the silencer on because the brake is, isn't able to do its job. Right. So I think it's gonna be kind of funny. Go ahead and pop that mag out. Or you got, you got mags, you use one of your mags. <laughs> there you go. Send it home and try that a couple times now and tell me what you think about that. Seems like it jumped a little bit more to me. What do, what do you think? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Shoot it, shoot it some more. Yeah, I'll see. <laughs> so even though you just dumped that thing and it really definitely starts to heat up, we're not seeing any type of flash coming out the mm -hmm. front or anything like that. And even on my little shorty also, the, uh, the Mark 18, this thing does a great job at mitigating flash, which is yeah. exactly what you're looking for when it comes to a silencer or a suppressor, whatever you want to call it, right? So at the end of the day, what's the best muzzle, brace, muzzle device <laughs> for you? It really comes down to, again, your application. Uh, are you going to be doing a lot of low light shooting and not suppressed? Then you're probably going to want a flash hider, not a muzzle brake, uh, right? If you're going to be looking for quick follow-up shots, accuracy and low recoil is the name of the game when it comes to your build, then a muzzle brake is definitely going to be what you want. If you don't mind sending some extra money to the government, I know it sucks paying that tax stamp, waiting for quite some time to get a preferred muzzle device, AKA a silencer, then go that option. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice when you don't necessarily have to wear ears at the range and you can actually have a conversation while, while people are shooting around you. It's kind of cool, right? But anyway, so what has been your favorite out of all the ones we've shot today? Suppressor, duh. The suppressor, duh. <laughs> okay, minus the silencer. Oof. That's tough. I shot each one of them on different guns. Yeah. See, that's... Well, okay, not even the muzzle device. Which gun's been your favorite? Oof. I don't know. I like them all. Yeah, I think you... <laughs> uh, if I had to choose one for you, I think you like that M16 quite a bit. Yes. You I, already talked about how I thought you were about to say you. Scar. And I was oh. Like, it's a great gun, <laughs> but no, it's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll get we'll get her onto the uh, the right side of things with yeah, liking know. a scar eventually. Uh, maybe we'll just get you. I've in gotten to where I don't hate it. Is that better? That's progress. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it off there, guys. Speaking of scars, though, that is our current giveaway. So head on over to ClassicFirearms.com to get your entries on the Scar 20 762 NATO chambered Beastie Boy that that is. It's a lot of fun. We had a pretty good time out here walking around in the woods with it. Katie put me on like a wild goose chase trying to find this target out in the woods and. It actually wasn't too difficult. Yeah, because the target's heavy. <laughs> okay, so next time maybe we'll have uh, we'll have we'll have our assistant run out. I'll just there have him carry it. I'll be like, put it over there. Yeah, just just keep walking. Like three more miles. <laughs> <Just walking blood. laughs> Rude. <laughs> Anyway, I think it's safe enough to leave it there though. Head on over to classicfarms.com to get your entries on that guy. And what did you say the code word was again? Super. Oh yeah, that's right. S-U-P-E-R. Super for that super scar trigger. Yes. Also a Geisley in that one. Probably why you're able to run that so well. <laughs> anyway, uh, comment down below. Hey, what type of muzzle devices do you prefer on what barrel length of gun? Like I said, having a 10.3 uh, inch with a muzzle brake uh, and I'm shooting next to you, uh, you suck. Just gonna throw it out seven five or a five and a half inch. I've seen it, I, and I hate you. Uh, but anyway, don't do that or do it for a fun range toy when you're outside, not around other people. Yeah, that's. I, st I still like have concussive force from that one guy. Anyway. <laughs> 
cool. Code word super for the SCAR, which has a also a surefire break on it. Awesome gun. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys down in the comment section. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at classicfarms.com. I What's up? Don't think your muzzle brake's working. My muzzle brake is working. Yeah. It's a flash hider. <laughs>